2017, we had the Category 5 hurricane barrier. Me personally, I lost my roofing for my home and uh, as well as some other neighbors as well. En ese tiempo nos afectó todo, las piedras llegó hasta acá, las aguas se inundó, todo fue un desastre total en el 2015. Y para nosotros ha sido que nos ha asustado, la gente no sabía por dónde correr, no, no sabía qué hacer los niños. From high mountain areas to small island states and coastlines, from arid regions to tropical rainforests, communities in Latin America and the Caribbean are highly affected by the adverse impacts of climate change. In 2023, IOM organized multiple consultations with governments, civil society, private sector, academia, and affected communities to discuss regional priorities on human mobility and climate change. Five key messages emerge from these discussions. First, bringing governmental agencies together with civil society actors is crucial for the governance of climate mobility. Affected communities require multi-layered support to prevent displacement and receive adequate assistance when on the move. Their participation in the design of adequate solutions is fundamental. Human rights, climate justice and loss and damage are fundamental to action on climate mobility in Latin America and the Caribbean. Climate change is already causing harm for people across the hemisphere. Upholding their rights and addressing loss and damage is crucial for governments and populations alike. Safe and regular mobility pathways can be the critical factor in saving lives and moving people out of harm's way. Climate change will increasingly influence mobility. The availability of dignified pathways will make a key difference for people to move in safe ways. Forward-looking evidence on climate mobility is a priority, but many gaps remain. Involving affected communities to mobilize local knowledge is an important way to understand gaps in protection and improve action. Transparency and participation on climate mobility must include youth and the private sector. Youth participation should be a pillar of renewed engagement in climate mobility. Good practices in private sector engagement can be leveraged across the region. Putting communities at the forefront of our response is key for success on climate mobility. Addressing the impacts of the climate emergency on human mobility is not an option. It is an obligation, and it's an obligation now. Thank you.